gonna turn into Norman Bates. Oh, cut it all off because I don't like it. I tried using a peacock curl instead of dubbing, and I also used a little bit of super glue, and I don't like it, so it's getting all chopped off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Back to the drawing board. Hey guys, hope everybody's doing well. This is Steve from Blackfly. Thanks for tuning in. Tonight we're going to attempt to tie um, my first ever Egan's Red Dart. I'm blessed to live in Utah, I should say, where Lance Egan and Flatfish Food are. So I have the opportunity. I can go into the shop and I get I get to see all their flies. And I buy them, but I want to, I want to learn to tie my own. So I'm just going to tie it. A variation of one I don't have all the proper materials but flies are what you make them if they catch fish and they look similar then who cares um, so I'm gonna tie an Egan's red dart variation so we've got some black eye unit thread and, and I'm gonna make it so this fly inverts so um and the hook I'm using Tell you in just a second, I'm gonna take this back to just almost to the bend. Cut that off. I'm using an Umqua U series size 16 uh, for the bead. I'm using a pretty big uh, 3.2 tungsten slotted. And this is in the olive color. Okay, so for the tail, I don't have. I'm out of the proper materials, so. I'm going to use just a few red marabou feathers. I'm going to use just a tiny bit of this. Let's tie this in. And you only want about just a little, I don't know, I'd say an eighth of an, or eighth of an inch. I want to make sure this bead stays secure and inverted, so I'm going to build up the thread just right behind the head, not too much, so we can put our CDC in. Yeah, and that keeps that bead nice and high, so we'll invert the hook like that. It's going to give this a little taper. Um, so next guys what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to mix some black uh, bunny fur with some olive ice dub. There, got about a quarter inch of fibers. And I'm going to take some of my ice dubbing. Just want to mix it up real good. And your fingers, sorry I was out of camera there. So you can see that's creating a nice dark dubbing that has some olive crystal flash in it so the next what I like to do I don't have fly tying wax so I this works this works this is just uh, just candle wax so we're gonna create a little dubbing noodle okay so I've created my dubbing noodle now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of uh, just the dirt for durability just want a tiny bit of super glue. I spend time tying them so I want them to be durable. And I've used peacock curl. Now I started tight towards the back and I'm going to loosen as I move forward. That's good. Okay, so next I'm gonna take and I'm gonna stretch some thread out here and I'm just gonna make a, use my finger to hold that. Make me a quick little dubbing loop. Hang the 
this all in my cradle. As I just got my new loom fly tying kit out here and I've got my little uh gonna hang that there. So I'm gonna take a uh find it. I just got a piece of CDC here. My dubbing loop. You don't have to tie a dubbing loop. You can tie in the end of the CDC and just hackle wrap it. CDC is pretty delicate. You want to get the stem as close to center as possible. See what I'm doing here. I'm just going to spin this. That's good. Okay, so what I'm doing is I took the weight off of the hackle tool and just kind of making sure that stem stays tight to the center of the dubbing loop. And I'm just going to use my rotary vise. And I'm going to start, I'm just going to take my time and I'm going to start to wrap this. And as I do, you only know a few wraps. I'm going to pull this, pull this back. Look, really buggy. You see how that unspun? I'm just gonna pull the CDC back. I'll go ahead and capture this. Nothing like all of CDC. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. There's, there's gotta be a better way to do this, guys. Again, I'm learning, um, trying new things. I'm gonna go ahead and clip this dubbing loop and try not to get any of those CEC fibers. And then I'm going to clip, I'm gonna pull the stem, take, I'm gonna pull some of the fibers away. And I'm gonna clip that stem. Look how sharp those are. That's quality right there. That helped a lot. Man, that's buggy looking. I could fish it just like that. I'd be confident. Seriously, I would be confident in fishing this fly like that. So now I'm going to just preen these CDC feathers back and I'm going to tie just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and whip finish this because uh, we're going to switch threads. Um, cut this off. We're gonna switch threads. We're gonna switch to a super fly, uh, flat, and a six out red. Important to keep these fibers preened back. So we're gonna add some pink ice dub. Just a super super fine dubbing noodle here. Just a couple wraps. I always suck at these dub dubbing noodles. I don't know why. Why? I waxed the thread. Counter spinning, top and bottom. Give me some pointers, guys. Okay, so I got a really, really super fine dubbing noodle. Two or three wraps. We'll clean it up. It's looking kind of rough right now. I'm gonna go right into my finishing wraps and then we'll, and I'm gonna keep this real tight. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a whip finish and then we'll trim it up, head some in it. This loom whip finishing tool, it is so smooth. It's like it has ball bearings in it. Cinch that down. Oh, yeah, look at this guys. Loon's got the fancy dancy. Should I put my glasses? I'm gonna clean it up here. These extra sharp. I do not want any of these extra fibers floating around. I really don't think the fish care at all. But 
I'm gonna go ahead and pause it because I want to clean this up. So I went ahead and I just cleaned it up with my fine point scissors. I trimmed the CDC just a little bit. Just to me, it just a little it was just a little bit too much. I really don't want it to extend past the tail. Um, and even I I feel like the tail is even just a little much. It's just That's a little better, but yeah, guys, that's a Egan's Red Dart variation with olive CDC and my own concoction of dubbing for the body or thorax. Let me show you guys something cool real quick. So I've got a this is an LED an LED light, and it's got a flexible arm on it. So see, so yeah, I can put that magnification over the fly. And I can get in there real close and and trim it up, clean it up real good. I forgot to give it a drop of head cement. And for the final step, I'm going to give it a drop of Loon Fluorescing UV head cement. I like to put it right behind the bead so it soaks down into that hole. Excess. I don't like any on this bead. This is an olive bwo bead i found these on amazon and they're tungsten they're, they're they're pretty good so now guys i'm just gonna hit it with the uv light and that's it hope you guys enjoyed this steve from black fly signing out thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys on the next episode